Imagine you have some risky surgery coming up and the procedure could be tested first on your virtual doppelganger to minimize the risks. It would be a kind of digital twin, not made of flesh and bone, but bits and bites, from the way your heart beats to your personal DNA code. We met some researchers who are creating this virtual digital you. They think the virtual human could have a profound impact on medicine and revolutionize healthcare. The ambitious Comp Biomed Center of Excellence, funded by the European Union, is led by Professor Peter Kovny at University College London. There's no doubt that that virtual Doppler gamma will save lives. The reason being that it's able to predict an outcome prior to it occurring. We're building the virtual human piece by piece. It's revolutionary because you look at a system. You look at the patient as an entire person. The project combines organ-specific data such as X-rays, MRIs or CAT scans, along with genomic and other information, which help to create the personalized virtual avatar. So we can take, as an example, this lady here, and we can see all the different sorts of systems that you can look at that come from data that can be put into a computer, all the way from the bases and the letters of her genome, all the way up to her skeleton. To bring organs like the virtual heart to life, the scientists have developed many specialized programs and algorithms. Well, in front of us here, you can see a virtual heart that captures all the detail of the person whose heart we're looking at. And that can then be used uh, in advance of uh, surgery if there's a problem with uh, arrhythmias and heart attacks, so that the uh, surgeon can pre-plan an operation and maximize the benefit of it. Virtualizing something as complicated as a human body requires enormous computational power. The Leibniz Supercomputing Center of the Bavarian Academy of Sciences is where some of the cutting-edge computer simulations are conducted. The SuperMOOC NG is Germany's most powerful supercomputer. Supercomputers are used for very big modeling and simulations. The computing power that our SuperMOOC has today will probably have the same amount in 20 years on our iPod or smartphone. We try to simulate what we need in 15 to 20 years for a personalized medicine on the ground in the hospitals. Scientists are now able to visualize, for example, the flow of red blood cells in the veins. We have big models of arteries where you look at how the blood cells flow through them, where there are constrictions. It's always important that the data you get out of the calculations is illustrated and visualized. The Virtual Human Project aims to tackle all human health conditions, including the new COVID-19 disease. It's also about helping people to have a positive impact on their lifestyle. My view of uh, the, the virtual human is that it's an organizing principle for medicine in the 21st century and beyond. The goal to build a real digital doppelganger and bring the whole virtual human to life will motivate scientists far into the future. <laughs>